Nate G, 209, the help of back and battle. Y'all know what it is. Another one coming at you. It's October 8th. Month moving along pretty quickly, man. But uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, still irrelevant. First of all, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that channel if you want to help. Um, today, I'm just going to do a quick one. Somebody had uh, made a statement tell me that I should do stories about, uh, do a story about some of the <clears throat> more infamous people I've been locked up with, you know, known for their crimes or what, which I have done. Actually, my most viewed video, my, is my first video was done about a friend of mine that had been given 170 years, but now comes home August 23rd next year. So, I have spoken about that, but let me give you a little rundown about the history of the prison I've been in, uh, that I went to, Indiana State Prison, which is in Michigan City, Indiana, for those that don't know. It's about between 30 minutes and an hour outside, just, just east of Chicago, uh, depending on traffic. It's surrounded by a town. But its construction built started in 1862. It was originally uh, being built for Civil War prisoners and then grew and became um, the place that criminals went. A lot of people, anybody doing time in Indiana, a lot of them ended up back in there, back in the 30s. John Dillinger was in there. Hell, if you've seen Public Enemies, the beginning of the movie when he orchestrated the escape, that was at Indiana State Prison. Which, having been to that prison and just the relation to Indiana and the fact that I was in the same prison, I thought we'd interest people a little more uh i guess i was wrong maybe coming about it the wrong way but you know i'm learning i'm learning so i got 441 subscribers that i am very very grateful for but you know jack dillinger's been there um unfortunately he's known a lot of people hate him but i love the man ronald sanford jr um, he grew up there. He, he's been there since 1987 or 88, since he was 14, 15 years old, walked behind the 40 foot wall. I was also at the same prison Mike Tyson had been at, Plainfield, IYC. Now, I wasn't locked up with these individuals, but I don't know whether this is true or not. There's just an a story, a legendary story that goes around Plainfield, and um, Mike Tyson supposedly lost a fight there. Whether that's true or not, Mike, man, please, if you see this, don't hold this against me. I left there in 2018, January of 2018, and I was only there for three months. I just heard the story that, and it really wasn't you got knocked out or anything. I was told you and another gentleman were fighting in the cell and your head was split open by something steel. Maybe you stepped back into it. That bobbing and weaving in the ring doesn't work in a six by eight. I'll tell you that now. Just doesn't. Um, I just wanted to get that one out there. I mean, I wasn't locked up with anybody famous. I was definitely locked up with some characters. And if you go through some of my old stories, maybe I should just redo some of my old stories because I know I've gotten better at telling these stories. And so, yeah, for y'all, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start retelling some of the stories. Um, I'm going to leave Ronald Sanford out, except for the fact that, you know, his sentence went from 170 years to 80 years. Or 78 years. So, for those that don't know, 
That means he only has to serve 50% of that. That means he's coming home next year. And I am honored to say that I've talked to that man. I've written that man. Our correspondence has kind of slowed down. He's got a lot going on. Um, you know, mentally never coming home. So one day now I come home in less than a year. I mean, to wrap your head around that, I couldn't wrap around my head, my head around coming home six months early. Like, I wasn't ready. But that man's been ready for a very long time. He had rehabilitated himself long ago. And this is well deserved. And for those that don't agree with it, you know what? It doesn't matter what you think because the family of the victims agree that because he was a child he deserves that chance but i just wanted to keep a short sweet video hit that like hit that subscribe hit that channel yeah i'm gonna redo some of them channels uh them stories i did before and uh hopefully you will uh like them then uh maybe i'll get some more views and I'll get a little more into depth about some of them, you know. But, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that channel if you want to do donate. Never forget life's choices, and you know if they ain't hating it, you ain't making it.